let's uh, let's start where we normally do when we start with the S&P 500 chart. I'm actually going to bring up a couple of other charts as well too to take a look at. As you see on the right hand side over here we've had distribution dates. So let me bring up the spiders first to show you what I'm talking about here. Listen at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick intro. Christopher Sace is a uh, he's a colleague of mine over at, over at Real Money um, and he writes extensively for Real Money and other uh, publications as well too including Forbes, Eagle, Daily and the and the street.com. His main gig though is this power trend profit. He's just a, an absolutely brilliant product that he has here. All, all in, I've got about eight great power trends that I use to identify all these different trends. And I, I try to recommend companies, um, not just ones that have upside, but rather ones that have good upside relative to their downside. And the other product that I write, ETF Power Trader, that's a, that's a trading service. And Bob, you and I have talked you know, quite a bit about that because I use uh, a combination of ETFs and out of the money call options to generate some big returns. The reason I'm, I'm getting into each of these ETFs and the call options is there's something that I've identified that's in sync with a power trend view. So consumer staples, you know, in December, we were looking at a uh, fiscal cliff coming. We knew also that disposable income was not only getting hurt, but we knew it was going to get a lot worse come January with any potential tax sites. You know, you know, one of the things that I think people are worried about, concerned about, is um, uh, the ratings agencies. And nobody's talking about this very much at all. And, and the effect that when this whole sequester happens, maybe maybe the cuts aren't enough to avoid a, um, a, a ratings cut. I think that's true, Bob. But you also have to remember, too, what we just heard from uh, Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke the other day was that they're, they're going to continue to be in there buying. You know, 85 billion a month. And That's right. It sounds like as you know, as far as 2016, until he gets his unemployment rate of six and a half percent. 